Hello everybody, my name is JT. Today I'm going to do an in-depth review of the JBL Live 460 NC. So I was looking for lightweight headphones that was compact, that had noise cancellation, and I found these. On the screen you'll see the full specs of the JBL Live 460 NC. Let me go ahead and open this up. So the first thing I noticed is that it came in a nice box. You're getting a USB-C cable, you're also getting a 3.5 audio cable, and you're getting the manual itself. The version you're looking at is the black version. So the first thing that caught my eye was a nice finished black color with metal hinge support and a good weight to it. The overall build quality is really good. It has good metal hinges. The upper part has a nice texture part which is soft and the sides are, have the tactile feedback button. It has a nice good pleather to it. It feels really comfortable on the ears. It's a mix of metal and strong plastic. Comfort wise, they feel really nice on the ears. They have a nice snug feel to them. These are on the ear headphones, not over the ear headphones. I've used these for a max four hours without feeling tired or my ears hurting. So they should be good for long hour usage. The overall seal of the headphones is good. It did a good job removing outside noise. If you're going to use these for jogging or on the bike, there is an ambient mode available. You will need to turn them on. They did an overall good job. These headphones are all day usage. You can use them for walking outside, on the bike, or at the gym. They did a really good job overall. I have used these on three full charges and they all lasted around 50 hours of full charge. I went at least one full week without charging these. And just in case you forgot to charge these, a 10 minute charge will give you four hour usage. So let's take a closer look at the audio quality. The bass is on the low side, but you can actually adjust this with the EQ. The mids are nicely present in the audio, voice and guitar will sound really good. The highs are good, not overexposed. The lows kind of mix into the mids, but they did an okay job. On the right side, you have your three main buttons, which is your up button, down button, which was controls the volume and it will control the next track and back track. The middle button will control the accept call and reject call as well. On the left side, you have your voice assistant button and you also have on the right side, you have your ambient awareness button as well. One thing I really like is I'm getting a USB-C connection and not a micro USB. It also has voice assistant that is usable with Siri, Alexa, and Google. Let's take a closer look at the call quality. I did a couple of call tests and most of the people told me that I sounded like I had the phone near my mouth. The conversations I had sounded overall okay. It sounded not too far, but not too close as well. Video latency is non-existent, so you don't have to worry about watching movies or videos out of sync. Connectivity wise, it comes with Bluetooth 5.0. You can use them on multiple devices at the same time and you can switch from a song on a PC to a phone with relative ease. JBLs weigh 7.4 ounces. The JBL height is seven inches and the JBL width is three inches. Another thing I like about it is that it is travel friendly. My overall thoughts on this JBL Live 460 is that it's the whole package. It has decent bass. The mids and the highs are really good. The lows are okay. The fact that it has assistant control buttons. It also has an ambient awareness button. It also has a noise cancellation button. It has everything you would need on a headphones. So if you're looking for a quality headphones with all the features, you might want to consider this one. I personally recommend this. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.